Hi guys, it's Lizzie and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be making edible slime. The recipe I've seen seems pretty simple. You just need marshmallows, corn flour, which I don't have, but it says you can use plain flour, food coloring, which I don't think I'm gonna use, and icing sugar. So obviously the first thing we need is the marshmallows and we are just gonna melt them in the microwave for probably 30 seconds of keep checking and stirring in between. So the marshmallows are melted and the reason I said I wasn't using food colouring is because I'm using pink and white marshmallows so it kind of makes a mixed colour anyway. So it's 50 grams of marshmallows and then 25 grams of whatever flour and then you just use like a little bit of icing sugar just to sort of mould it all together. So I'm just going to add my flour. About that much. So I won't even show you my worktop right now because the marshmallows are sticky and I couldn't mix it in the bowl so I took it, the flour out of the bowl and put it on the work surface and got the mixture coated in that and then ice and sugar, it's just a whole mess but this is our slime. It's really cool. I think I've got like the perfect consistency now. Still a little sticky when you stretch it because obviously it's marshmallows but I did end up using a lot of like icing sugar. But yeah, this is what the slime looks like. It's like slime. You can stretch it, pull it apart. It's small, but it's cute. And I didn't use food coloring because I used pink marshmallows as well as white. So it's just gone this like light kind of pink color. And I think it's really cute. And you can play with it, you can stretch it, and of course you can also eat it. I think this is such a cool idea. Particularly like for kids, and obviously now we're going into the summer holidays, so it'd be great for like a, an activity for kids to do. Just make some slime with some marshmallows. It's sticky, but it's sensory friendly. It's... It stretches like slime would, and of course you can eat it. What's not to like? So my only flaw of it is how sticky it is, and obviously when you keep stretching it, it gets sticky again. But other than that, I think it's a really cool idea, and I hope you guys do it. Because even if you don't have autism, it's just super fun to do, like to make. So I think it's a really cool idea. And I definitely think kids would love it. And obviously, I loved it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.